Okay, so I just went on Facebook, but I say it. Happy birthday, Grandma. Thank you for everything you've done for me, my mom, and my sister. And we really, really appreciate it, and we love you so much. So I'd like to dedicate this. I wrote a poem for you, so I'd like to dedicate it to you. Okay, so. On this day of your birth, we celebrate all that you're worth. A woman so strong and wise, with grace and charm that never dies. You've lived a life of success, with each challenge you've been blessed. Your hard work and dedication has led to a life of admiration. From your earliest days, you've been a source of amaze, achieving goals and reaching heights that only others dream in sight. Your spirit and your energy are a constant inspiration to see. You've taught us all so much, and we are forever in your depth as such. So here's to you, my dear grandmother, on this special day like no other. May you be blessed with love and cheer for many more happy years to come next. So we will now call Shamil to the mic. For those of you who don't know, this is Radhika's son. There you go. Good night, everybody. Hope oh, everybody enjoyed this. Yes. Love you, Mom. Short and sweet like me. <laughs> Kamira? Eh? I'm already. Eh? Somewhere else. I know if you want to claim them. <laughs> oh, and here is the other beautiful granddaughter, Miss Kamira. Hi, good night, everybody. So, Grandma, first of all, I'd like to wish you a very happy birthday. You are truly one in a million. I'd like to thank you for all that you've done for me, for Gabby, for Mommy, and continue to do. Um, I've truly learned so much from you, Grandma. Not only the way you carry yourself, your heart, you're just such a nice, generous person, and your love is like radiated off of you every day, especially tonight. Um, not only that, you've taught me how to meditate, how to manifest things, how to ground myself, all of those things that, you know, I'll never forget to write. And I love you so much. You truly want a million and we love you for life. Stay fabulous. <laughs> well, yes. Nice. Is she? Yes. Come so <laughs> And this is Radhika's daughter, firstborn, Madame Ishara. Making her way to the mic. Good night. A warm welcome to all of you who has gathered here for the celebration of the most important and most unappreciated figure in our life, my mother. Happy birthday, Mom. My mother brought me into this world with a lot of love and pain. And anything that happens, I tend to run to you. You work unrelentlessly to make our lives and all around, all the people around you, their lives better. So whatever good person that I became, become, or will ever do, it is because of your teachings and the values that you instill in me from since I'm small growing up. You taught me to never give up. Even when I got in the accident and my two hands were broken, mommy was there all the time. She never left me. And I feel so bad because I wanted to sleep and mommy was there and she not sleeping so now I can't sleep. <laughs> um, thank you for that. And when you have a mom like mine, you don't have to look very far for inspiration. So that's why I never left home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you, mom. I don't want to take up the other's time with a long speech tonight. So, mom, I love you and thank you for being my mom. And 
in our next life, if you could tell God I could born back again, you know, I could be your daughter again. That would be great. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ishi. You did well, don't worry. So I guess all you know I had to talk now. But I make sure everybody make a speech and may make none. So, <laughs> ah, Radhika. Hmm, let's just start. You are my youngest aunt and more like a big sister mm -hmm. to me. Been true so many things in my wonderful 36 years. <laughs> hello, hello. I ain't looking 36. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you so much for being a part of my life and your family. And before I start on my long thingamajiggy, I just want to say, um, Sending you greetings from Germany, from Mommy, uh, Mr. Hans, my stepdad, and my sister Diana, and Naeem and his entire family in Canada, and the New York family as well. They all wish they could have been here, but they send their love and greetings. And for me and Charles, he is somewhere around. Uh, thank you for everything that. As Ishara said, you have done and continue to do for us. For those of you who don't know, I had COVID last year and nearly died. And they call me a walking miracle. And when I came out of the hospital, she nurtured me. So now I can actually walk again. I couldn't walk before. Couldn't talk, couldn't walk. I went through it all. But with her help and guidance, and thank God for the pool and doing therapy and everything, I am able to walk on my own without a stick and a cane and, you know, so that and in other things in life, thank you very much for your guidance and support. And tonight is a party and everybody, I want to hear nobody talking all night. So, everybody done it? That's, that's not a rhetorical question, I can answer. Everybody done it? 